You know, trendy pieces of tech and high-end gadgets have been around for quite some time now. Uh, long before your generation or mine for that matter. Having said that, I shall present to you a Romanian-made camera from the 1960s. And it's a rather uh, interesting looking thing. Uh, the case, the protective case, is, it's made out of rich leather. You can hear the creaking and pleasant uh, squeaking of the uh, well-treated and painted leather. I'm not really a fan of this brownish reddish color, but then again, it's how they came out. It's called the Horizont or well translated it's called the Horizon and here it is. I shall be opening it right now and would you look at this beauty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so this, uh, this camera is in its um, quite uh, original um, uh, estate or shape and by that I mean it hasn't been cleaned at all and it's quite grimy and nasty. I don't mean that it's in perfect condition but it's not that bad either. It's just as I found it. By the way, I found this on a shelf at my parents' house so it's sort of a family heirloom. That's the small story behind it. I don't know more details. Um, the camera itself is secured to the uh, case with this um, interesting screw and I can remove it right now from its casing and here it is. Um, yeah, so I don't really know much about this camera and to my uh, defense it's not because of lack of trying, I just didn't find many details online about this, but I'll get to that in a second. So yeah, this is the front, the lens occupies the whole space. Uh, this is the back. <laughs> yeah, to us newer uh, folks, uh, we might uh, see something missing here. <laughs> no screen, but then again, this was made in the 1960s, so it's obvious it will not have a screen. It's not a digital camera, again, quite predictably. Here's the shutter button. Here's the visor. Um, here on the side, you can see a sort of operation operated hinge. It's not very refined, it's crude, but it's fixed in place and does the job. This is meant to open the inside of the camera, exposing you to the inner lens and, well, the way the film was rolled. This is on, this works on 35 millimeter film. And well, yeah, that's about all I can say at this point. Now, before we go any further and discuss the performance or what uh, info I could find on this camera, let me just pause a bit and we'll try to clean it up. So I am brought here with me what seems to be some sort of rubbing alcohol. Uh, lovely lady on the side. Romanian folks will <laughs> recognize instantly the Mona bag, uh, bottle of rubbing al alcohol. But anyway, here's a piece of cloth. Now let's try to clean up this, um, this camera, shall we? We'll just... Um, be very generous with this rubbing alcohol and drizzle quite a lot here so we can uh, we can try to clean the this quirky little gadget let's see if this works so right off the bat you can see that there was a lot of grime on there and seems to be working well, at least the lens is cleaner. And this um, plastic, plasticky bakelite thing, which is supposed to mimic leather, is also getting um, 
cleaned thoroughly, so not a bad job after all. Mind you, this is not a reconditioning or thorough cleaning, just so you can see that the camera itself is really in good shape, which brings me to my next impressive point about this uh, well, block of metal. It's made of a solid chunk of aluminium. Have a lesson. So it's quite heavy. I don't know what, uh, well, how much uh, this thing weighs. A lot of grime here, so let me just uh, pause and come back with it uh, thoroughly cleaned. So I'm back. As you can see, I have managed to clean this thing quite nicely. And while we're uh, still looking at it, let's talk some specs. So hor Horizon or Horizon is a 35mm film viewfinder camera made by IOR in Romania and introduced circa 1960. This rare Horizon camera was the first Romanian 35mm film camera. This rare Horizon camera was the first Romanian 35mm camera. It has a helical focusing trioclar triplet 50mm f3.2 lens, which is this one. Uh, a Romanian made Horizon 3 speeds leaf shutter and double exposure double exposure prevention. So the Altex 4 supposedly inspired the outer looks, but definitely not the inside parts. Body is cast in aluminium as previously mentioned. There were variants with or without flash sync, so I don't know if this one has flash sync or not. Uh, I see there's a hot shoe here for flash, but anyway. So other Horizon models were Horizon, the Horizon 3, the Horizon Amateur, which was obviously something cheaper, more affordable, and the Horizon Optim A. Now the other cameras, I'll try to link some pictures or descriptions uh, here in the video, but actually this one is the best looking of the bunch, even though I suspect it's not that great, not that great of a performer. Well, do you know what? This is quite an interesting piece of camera. Now, uh, in terms of value, I don't think it's quite there. I suspect no more than a few tens of euros, less than a hundred euros for an okay one. Maybe a pristine one would fetch a couple of hundred euros, though I doubt it. I have seen some examples online for sale for quite a f quite cheap. Uh, you know, there's that quality of um, cheap, cheaply made devices, rather a lack thereof. But you know, the type of uh, Soviet or Soviet-inspired uh, um, pieces of tech that just work under any conditions. And if you are wondering what I am referring to, I'm speaking, of course. Uh, of things such as the, I don't know, Kalashnikov uh, submachine gun or the T-34 tank, which is not a great example to give, especially in these times. But, you know, Soviets and Soviet-made stuff had that enduring quality of working under any conditions. I suspect this is the same thing. They're not quite advanced technologically and they're not artworks, pieces of uh, engineering, uh, marvel or stuff like that, but they do work under low or poor conditions. Um, so is it a collector's item? Well, you bet your top dollar it is. I mean, look at it. It's a beautiful uh, metal made, uh, quite heavy, um, retro camera. Who wouldn't want this? Even if you don't own a collection, you just put it on the, I don't know, on the furniture and just reminisce about where you got it from or what what's its history. So having said that, I think I shall be putting it here as a prop of sorts, replacing this oddball 
Eminem, um, I don't know, uh, Christmas theme thing. So here it is, the horizon camera, and let me just focus on it. And remember, I, I sort of buy or own useless, quirky, obsolete tech stuff like this one, so you don't have to. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.